boy, it's your girl, Brie Michelle. What's the game? And today I will be doing a college tour. I will be going to the one and only A and T. So I've heard a lot of things about A and T. I've heard some good, and I've heard, you know, some bad. But I'm going to go there to tour it today, and I'm super excited. So yeah. If you guys did not know, in the summertime I um went on a tour, but it wasn't local. So yeah, this is local. It's in North Carolina. So yeah. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's get into the video. <laughs> oh, so we are walking up to the building. Let's see how this go. They are really turning up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to an HBCU. No, I'm playing, but um, it's decked out though. Like, it's, I'm about to. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, add me on Instagram, dmurf22, uh, already. Okay, great. <laughs> Oh, there's the Oral TC right there. Oh, they have a gym? Oh, this is where they was at. Alright y'all, we walking, we walking, we touring, it looks really nice, it seems really nice, you know. Mama, you hungry? You thirsty? Me too. We gotta go see the broadcasting um, building, cause y'all know, your girl. Gotta go see it. These four gentlemen, um, most people know them as the Greensboro four, four but we like to call them the A&T four. Um, but David Richmond, yeah, I'm Franklin McKay, Isla Boy Jr., and Joseph McNeil, if you don't know the story. Mass, <laughs> mass communication and journalism building. But this is where the building is. Um, you're right by GCB's general classroom building and the American Craig, which is our business. business. This is cute. Oh, they even got the plaid shirt. Oh wow, that tour was something, and it's hot, but we're walking back to the car now, and we're about to go get something to eat, and then do something else, I don't know. So we trying to find the parking lot, but we don't know where it's at, but we're going to find it. So there, um, mass communications, broadcasting, radio, television program is seems like it's really nice they have their own radio television I mean they have their own radio and television station and some people even have their own radio shows y'all know that's my goal to have my own radio show oh my arm hurt from holding this camera I'm hot Ooh, 
That's where we were sitting at. Oh, it feels so good. It's cold. It was hot outside, but it's cold in here. This is where I went to, um, in the beginning, I went to get my information. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm officially back home from the tour, from touring a and We went to get some lunch, and, you know, now we're back here. But I had such a good time at a and It's a really, really good school. Y'all saw the experience. Everything was super-duper cool. It is definitely in my top three. So, yeah, good job, a and A&T was definitely a very, very good experience. Um, It was really lit. Like, y'all, I really couldn't get the footage, like, all the footage that I wanted to get of when it was getting lit because I was just trying to live in the experience and I had forgot to, like, get my phone out and, you know, record. It was definitely Aggie Pride representing, okay? <laughs> you guys see I have the um journalism. Mass Communications and Journalism, they gave me this key thingy, or it's not a key thingy, but you get what I mean. Everything was really, really cool. The people was cool. Like I said, the atmosphere was cool. I didn't get to try the food, but they had like a diner. I forget what the diner was called. It's all crippled now, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This is what our schedule looked like. And then this is just the map of the campus. And then they gave me this, and it just talks about a and and how ANT is, how you can get transportation. And I really liked that they honor um, the four North Carolina ANT college freshman students who boldly took seats at the segregated FW Woolworth lunch counter in downtown Greensboro. This was a long time ago, February 1st, 1960. They have actually a statue of the four of them and two out of the four of them still come back and they have a big breakfast every February 1st. The other two, I think, are deceased. So I thought that that was pretty cool. But yeah, a and is definitely in my top three of the colleges that I want to go to. FAMU has always been my number one college since I was in the sixth grade. So FAMU has always been number one. But the fact that I got to tour a and was really great. And I really do love this school. So the only college that I still need to tour is FAMU. I've toured Clark. So fam, you, Clark, and North Carolina a and are my top three choices right now. And now I need to tour fam, you, and then that'll be, d depending on how the tour goes in fam, you will decide what college I am going to go to. I also want to thank the college tour. Oh, oh. What is her name? Dang it, I forgot. It's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone. She was the tour guide. Um, I might leave her information like down here. But she was super dope. The guy in the beginning <laughs> who was in my um who was in my vlog, shouted his Instagram out and everything. Everybody was really cool. So thank you, ANT, for showing me a great HBCU and having me around such a positive turnt <laughs> atmosphere. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as I always, always leave you guys out with, always remember to do what makes you the happiest. Bye, y'all.